there was a spirit to Belgrade which I liked, I responded to. A great history in the stones and I needed the weight of a capital city. I just had a fantastic time there too. I mean, Belgrade is a city with such a vibrant spirit. You can just almost feel, especially the youth in the city, kind of blossoming right now. And it's a, it's really a beautiful place. For me, it was, it was about who I can work with. And certainly in Belgrade, the, the um, energy to help us from, from the government and from the mayor. There was a, a, an eagerness which, um, which was inspiring. It was a great experience. It was against what most people expected. A variety of locations in Serbia and Montenegro, but predominantly in Serbia, and the fact that they knew there was a very good crew. We've had incredible changes in weather in the few months we've been here, from, from deep snow to beautiful sunny days. It's, everything's here. The Serbian government recently added a straightforward 15% cash rebate film incentive, which will make our film offering even more compelling. The proven cost savings of up to 25 to 30 percent are experienced crews, new sound stages and locations. We have already been able to attract the attention of international producers, but with the new film incentive, the rationale for filming in Serbia is undisputable. We are looking forward to fielding your inquiries and supporting your projects in Serbia. For our film, actually, I think that Serbia has been a real blessing because I don't know how we would have been able to get the production value and the level of crew um, for the price that we've been able to anywhere else actually in the world. The cost of it, which was a crucial thing, was really, you know, like really low compared to everywhere else we were looking in the world. And I am going to do another movie in Serbia. What most people don't know about Serbia is that the geographic of uh, Serbia is providing uh, various locations from mountains, lakes, access to the Adriatic coast. Then talking about the architecture, we have socialist architecture, modern architecture, pre-Second World War architecture. So we can basically do uh, all kinds of movies, from period movies, from Europe, from the Second World War, then the modern Europe, and also the movies about the socialist uh, countries from the Eastern Bloc. This place is very good on locations. It's also extremely good on access to locations, which you don't get in many, many countries. Access to the locations is quite easy because of the really good cooperation with the authorities. Uh, all city authorities, uh, republic authorities, minister of police, minister of uh, culture, and uh, basically it's a really film-friendly environment. We've had access to things that we wouldn't get in any other country that I can think of, such as shooting in the parliament building, uh, and actually shooting in the Senate itself, which is an amazing achievement for anywhere to be allowed to do that. My experience has been outstanding of filming in Serbia. I mean, we came here because of the locations, as, uh, uh, was, was a huge, huge drawing factor for this story. We're doing a contemporary version of Shakespeare and we needed a city that felt timeless and that felt like it could be a city anywhere. This city had all the locations and things we were looking for. It had a kind of a, an energy and a vivacity that we needed and it had a mixture of the kind of the low life and the high life that we needed. So we found a lot of what we were looking for very quickly here and it's been a pleasure sort of finding more of that. We're using Belgrade as a city that could, you know, the script says it could be Rome, London, New York, it could be anything and we're using Belgrade to, to represent that so that's a, you know, it's, it, it's got a lot of fascinating, for us anyway, very fascinating architecture and interesting things and you know, a great mix of things from the castle to the, to the tower blocks. We have here in a bell raid, very, very good construction crews. A lot of people who has the big experience about construction, the big sets. I would like to, to just to mention some of the projects that our people did with me in a big, big construction. One of them is the biggest set that it was made maybe in the 10 last year in Europe. It was in Luxembourg. We built the Venice from the 15th century. I'm glad that we are doing some big movies now here in Belgrade because I really think we have a capable crew. I'm talking about the costume department, we have educated people who graduated on the university which is very good. They have experience, they all speak languages very well and they really communicate very well with the foreigners. So I'm glad that finally big movies are coming to Belgrade.
people have been calling me up and asking me about my experience here. And I have to say that I would recommend it to anybody that's looking to make a film needing physical locations you could build to here. But the quality of craftsmanship, the know-how. There is a real tradition, actually, of filmmaking in this country. Language isn't an issue. I speak better English, actually, than, than most other European countries. Yeah, as a second language. The one thing I really like is, is the fact that, of course, it's not that expensive either. And whilst you do still have to bring quite a few crew in from abroad, the broad base of people here far outweighs what you get in Romania and Lithuania and countries like that. It's very much higher quality uh, crewing than there. The very interesting thing for me here is the ambition of people within the film industry here. There are very ambitious production companies who want people to come here. And based on that, the government is joining in. The government is giving it access to tax refunds, which also mean that, that more companies will come here. The crew we found have been absolutely top class. They're the first, I am, I mean, all recommended before we got here, but uh, they've all got great experience when it comes to doing what we need them to do. Production-wise, it's been very good. Everybody's been very helpful. I've got a fantastic um, second second man on on sound in, in Nemanja. It's been very efficient, and the, the team's gelled within days. You know, and we're working together like we've been working together for many films. The team we've got around us, everybody, it's fanta a fantastic team of uh, technicians and, and filmmakers, and I'm really pleased to be working with them. I don't think we've had any weak links at all in, in the departments, but in terms of when you're here, what you're offered with crew and facilities and locations and so on, it's very high level and very uh, satisfying. It was interesting seeing the people from London come in and mix up with the people from Serbia, and by the end of it, everybody just loves each other, and people, I know people based out of London were actually bringing people from Serbia for their, for their next jobs. PFI Studios is one of Europe's newest state-of-the-art film studio complexes, with the most competitive rates in the region. With eight sound stages ranging from 600 to 1,800 square meters now operational, as well as multiple production facilities and an extensive backlot, PFI can offer comprehensive production and production support services for international film and TV productions. We have been improving our technical facilities in order to be prepared for international productions and we are more than happy to uh, host them now in Serbia, offering them highest quality of services, uh, lab services, post-production and rental. When it was decided that Corillianus should come and shoot in Serbia with Ralph Finnis and Barry Aykroyd, I was recommended by Kodak as an international expert. My job was to supervise and make sure that the lab at the Telesinne was up to the highest international standard. Today I think the Serbian film industry is ready to welcome any feature film coming. You can see that it's all developing and growing, you know, new studios being built, the, the lab just opening up here, uh, you know, delivering us now rushes di direct from uh, Belgrade. So, so we're not having to waste time sending them off to another country or back to Britain or whatever. We're getting them from here, so it's, that's all very good. You know, I've seen the new studios that have been built and it's phenomenal size stages and all ready to be used. Great locations um, and I think the facilities are just getting stronger and stronger and I can see that with time it really will become um, an important destination um, for filmmakers. It's starting to grow and starting to prosper and I know that uh, I'm going to be coming back. And we had a blast, we had a blast. We loved being in Serbia. It was amazing getting to know Belgrade as a city. I really had a, had a wonderful time there and made some Serbian friends and it was wonderful, really good. Very, very hard working. There was nothing they wouldn't do for us because of course it's an emerging film industry there. I think they were very glad to have us. They treated, treated us like gods. 